After a long and drawn-out divorce with Khloe Kardashian and a terrifying incident at a brothel that almost claimed his life, we were rooting for Lamar Odom to turn his life around. And he did. He has a new relationship, but it has been shrouded by messy allegations. To get a better idea about why we're worried about Lamar's relationship, we have to take you back to his first serious romance with his high school sweetheart, Liza Morales. They had three children together, Destiny, Lamar Jr., and a son, Jaden, who sadly passed away from SIDS in 2006 when he was just six months old. Liza told People Magazine, I leaned on my spirituality. I leaned heavily on my family, my friends, and he didn't. The couple split up soon after and were on good terms, up until 2008 when Liza found out Lamar's substance problems were escalating. In 2009, he married Khloe Kardashian after one month of dating. After battling Lamar's infidelity and substance addiction, Khloe filed for divorce in December 2013. The divorce proceedings dragged on for years as the couple continued living their separate lives. Tragedy struck in June 2015 when Lamar lost two of his close friends, Jamie Sanguthai and Bobby Hayward. Both men allegedly passed away from substance abuse-related issues. The back-to-back -back losses reportedly sent Lamar over the edge. In October 2015, he was found unresponsive at a Nevada brothel and was rushed to the hospital. It was later reported he took cocaine and close to 10 intimacy enhancement pills. Chloe withdrew the divorce papers and was by Lamar's side during his recovery. He was taken off life support and eventually transferred to a hospital in Los Angeles where he stayed for nearly three months. He told People Magazine that he still suffers from short-term and long-term memory loss following the incident. Chloe refiled for divorce in May 2016 and it was finalized in December 2016. That same month, Lamar entered a rehab facility. A source told People Magazine he was clean and sober, but he wanted to take additional measures to get his health back on track. After his month-long rehab stint, he admitted to being an intimacy addict and said he had slept with more than 2,000 women during his lifetime. But he was moving forward and was focused on making a return to basketball. In December 2018, he represented a team from the Philippines in the Dubai International Basketball Championship. He got his big break in the States when he was named co-captain of the Enemy Squad, a team that's part of Ice Cube's Big Three Basketball League. However, Lamar struggled in his first game and was ultimately deactivated from the league in July 2019. With his dreams of playing basketball derailed, there was something else going on in his life that was much more promising, a woman named Sabrina Parr. Naturally, everyone was curious about her, and the truth about her past was quite shocking. In an Instagram post, Sabrina shared that she ran track in high school and attended college, although it's unclear if she graduated. Sometime around 2010, she had a daughter named Haven. Sadly, the relationship with her daughter's father didn't work out. In 2012, she was working at Lifetime Fitness in Cleveland when she began dating her co-worker former Penn State football player Antonio Davis. They had a very messy relationship, which included Antonio continuing to shack up with his then fiance, a woman he had been dating for 10 years. In late 2012, Sabrina got pregnant and Antonio eventually decided to end things with his fiance. In August 2013, Antonio and Sabrina's son Cameron was born and they were married in November. Almost three years later, Antonio discovered Sabrina's secret cell phone and realized she had been cheating on him. During a scuffle over the phone, Sabrina hit him over the head with a trophy. She called it self-defense and said Antonio had put his hands on her numerous times throughout their relationship, but she was still locked up for six months and sentenced to three years probation. She and Antonio eventually got divorced. She found work as an ESPN 850 personality on WKNR radio station, one of the official radio partners of the Cleveland Browns. However, her time on the station came to an end in May 2017, when she was fired for accusing Browns player Jabril Peppers of drinking lean and popping Molly. She also accused player Joe Thomas of being on lean as well. She moved to Atlanta, and in the summer of 2019, she met Lamar while traveling to a concert. 
He made things Instagram official in August 2019. Since then, things have been quite dramatic. An anonymous source told People magazine that Lamar and Sabrina weren't dating. In fact, the source stated their relationship was fake. Lamar didn't let that report stop him for gushing about his new girlfriend, though. In an August 2019 interview with Dish Nation, when asked what makes his new relationship different, Lamar replied, It's the truth. She's black. A week after that interview, a woman named Savannah Waldrop, who claimed to have been dating Lamar on and off since 2017, dropped a bombshell in an interview with Radar Online. Savannah said Lamar was still giving her gifts and paid for her to go on vacation one week before he went public with Sabrina. Not only that, Savannah also said there was a third woman in the picture who had been seeing Lamar for the past two years. Savannah was fine with that woman being in the picture, but when Sabrina was brought into the mix, Savannah wasn't pleased. Savannah told Radar Online, Sabrina called her on the phone and told her, I don't know what you think you have going on with Lamar, but it's over. Sabrina reportedly added that Lamar's phone number and credit cards were being changed, and Savannah wouldn't be able to contact him anymore. Savannah said she cursed Sabrina out and accused her of being with Lamar just so she could get her own reality show. Savannah said she didn't have high hopes for Lamar's new romance because of his history of, quote, lying and cheating. However, Lamar and Sabrina were still going strong. After getting booted from Dancing with the Stars, he told Us Weekly he wanted to impregnate Sabrina with twin boys. As he continued to verbally express his love for the new woman in his life, someone who was once a part of his inner circle shared something very interesting. During a November 2019 exclusive interview with the National Enquirer, Lamar's ex-manager, Zul El Fassi, told the tabloid Lamar abruptly fired her in September after she tried to warn him about Sabrina's twisted connection to his ex-wife, Chloe. According to Zool, Sabrina confessed to her that she hooked up with Chloe's baby daddy, Tristan Thompson, four times while he was still with Chloe. Zool added that Sabrina and Chloe fought over the phone and Chloe told Sabrina to, quote, leave my man alone. Zool said she questioned Lamar to make sure Sabrina was the kind of woman he wanted to date. He allegedly answered, it's my chance to get Chloe jealous. If that wasn't bad enough, Zool said Chloe was trying to get in contact with Lamar to warn him about Sabrina, but Sabrina blocked Chloe's number from his phone. Zool ended her statement by saying, Sabrina is on a mission with a clear agenda. In her own words, she's motivated to secure the bag. If Zool's accusations were true, do you think Lamar cared? Not at all. Days after the interview went public, he proposed to Sabrina at Prime 112 restaurant in Miami, and she said yes. A month later, Sabrina gave an interview to Hollywood Life website stating that after some encouragement from his pastor, Lamar decided they should abstain from intimacy until after their wedding. Sabrina was on board with it as well. She said, I also explained to Lamar how it honors your woman when you don't touch her and when you wait, and God repays you for that. But of course, there was more drama waiting around the corner. Instead of continuing to celebrate their engagement, Lamar's Instagram was hacked and Sabrina accused Zool of being behind it. Sabrina gave a statement to Bossip website that read, while Lamar's crazy ex-manager was busy hacking his page, LOL, we continued to enjoy ourselves and create memories. While their engagement party was still in the works, Lamar opened up in a since-deleted Instagram post that Sabrina was the only person who could make him be a one-woman man. But a month later, his daughter Destiny blew the lid off their seemingly happy romance. It was Valentine's Day 2020 when Lamar posted a photo of him and Sabrina, along with a touching tribute to his fiance. In a comment obtained by the Neighborhood Talk, his daughter Destiny commented, was this before or after she punched you in the mouth? Destiny's comment was quickly deleted, so she took to her Instagram stories to say she wouldn't be silenced. Destiny wrote, keep your hands to yourself. Women can be abusive too. It is never okay to lay your hands on someone. The issues with Sabrina and Destiny have since continued. 
In August 2020, an insider close to the situation told the Neighborhood Talk blog that while on vacation and chilling at the pool as a family, Sabrina overheard Destiny telling a friend on the phone that there were too many people, quote, coming in and out of the house, smoking a lot of weed with Sabrina's five-year-old son around. Destiny also allegedly made a comment about Sabrina not having custody of her son, which ticked Sabrina off. Sabrina allegedly confronted Destiny and Lamar had to step in to separate them. Sabrina reached out to the blog to tell her side of the story. She said, that entire family is hurt by things that happened way before I came around. And it's hard for them to accept anyone when he hasn't been the best dad to them. The couple has since announced they would be starring in their own reality show on the For Us By Us streaming platform. To some people, their announcement confirmed their suspicions that Sabrina was only using Lamar for the limelight. As of this video, their reality show has yet to be released. Despite all the drama and those who think Lamar is making a terrible choice, the couple is still just as in love as ever. In a June 2020 Instagram post, Sabrina wrote she knew Lamar was the one because he made so many sacrifices for her. He packed up, moved to Atlanta, and rented an Airbnb to be closer to her. Sabrina said he also changed his phone number and cut off contact with previous women, so she knew he was serious. And Lamar is just as in love with her. He has a tattoo of red lips on his neck with Sabrina's pet name, Baby Doll, underneath it. He calls the tattoo his wedding ring until they make things official. Although we're worried with the way things have panned out for them thus far, we wish Lamar and Sabrina the best of luck. Let us know your thoughts on Lamar's new relationship. And thanks for watching Real Reality Gossip.